You want me to show you where Abraham saw Jesus? Yeah, I think I know off the top of my head, but yeah, yeah. if you could do that, would be great. Yeah. Okay. Well, Forget the name. Well, let me show you that Jesus says Abraham saw him. Open up John okay. 8. Okay. Now he says, the Jews say Abraham is our father. So Jesus says, well, hold on. If Abraham was your father, you'd act like him. Watch. Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. Okay, now did you catch it? He's saying, you may be physical sons of Abraham, but you don't belong to him. Let me tell you why. You are trying to kill me, a man who told you the truth from God. Abraham did not try to do this. This is not what Abraham did. See, the light switch went on. You got it, huh? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's retrospective. So he's saying, when I was telling him, they didn't try and kill me. So he's oh, implying. He got it. You see, guys, how quickly he got it? Well, that's good. That means Abraham saw Jesus, right? Yeah. You yeah, can't but Abraham had that. been dead yeah, for 2,000 yeah. years. Yeah, unless he's really, really old, then it's got to okay, be Okay, but him. now he is old because in John 8, 56, 59, now he's going to explain. He's not going to yeah, give yeah. you the answer. So your father Abraham rejoiced to that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. What are the reaction? Because I'm going to explain in a minute. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Could you see that? Now they're looking at him. Remember what I said? He's a man. So they're seeing a man, right? Yeah. And they're seeing a man that's not even 50 years old. So they're scandalized. That's why he says, blasphemy against the Son of Man will be forgiven, right? Mm -hmm. But then they say, wait, you're not yet 50 years old. How in the world did you see Abraham? And then he explains it. No, guys, you're not getting it. Don't let my physical appearance <clears throat> mislead you. I'm more than a man and I'm older than 50. Let me tell you how old I was. I was already existing long before Abraham came into being. So I was there before Abraham came to being. I saw him come into being and I continue to be long after he's gone. And that's why Abraham saw me and I saw him and I saw his reaction. Unlike yours, he was happy to see me, though you're trying to kill me. Do we get it now? Okay, but now let me show you where you're going to see Abraham and Jesus seeing each other. First, go to John 1. So in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Okay. Did you catch it? Before creation, there was someone called the word. This word was there with God before creation and he was God in nature. What did he do? Read. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. You can stop there. Now notice, this word was the one that created all things, gives light to all things, and illumination, right? But who's this word? Verse 14. Who's this word? And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we mm. have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So that word became who? Jesus. Okay, so we got it, right? Jesus yeah, yeah. was the word who created all things, was there, and he gives them illumination, and then later became the man Jesus, right? Correct, yes. Okay, go to Genesis 15. Watch here. Jesus is the word, right? Absolutely. Now watch this. Read it slowly. Okay, now he's going to read. Notice who came to Abraham. Pay attention if you see it. All right. It says, after these things, the word of Yahweh came to Abram in a vision, saying. Did you catch it? Let's see if you got it. Don't say anything. I want to say the word. So it, it's Jesus. Who came to Abraham? Jesus. The, the word is implying Jesus. So. And he's speaking to Abraham? Yes. In a vision. Yeah. That's the word who then became flesh right there in the Old Testament. Who came to Abraham? The word. So Jesus came to Abraham in a vision. Oh! Okay. Now read though all the way to six. Look what happened. Okay. And Abraham said, Oh Lord Yahweh, what will you give me as I go on being childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, since you have given no seed to me, behold, one born in my house is my heir. Then behold, the word of Yahweh came to him saying. So who came to him talking? 
word of Yahweh. Is that so why you're here, the Old Testament, no New Testament. It says it wasn't Yahweh. It was the word of Yahweh that appeared to Abraham. Yep. Okay. So I understand that some Jews have, you know, understanding of multiplicity in God. How would, you know, a Jew who doesn't have that interpret the he word of Yahweh? Not interpret it. Can't. I'm going to show you how the Jews understood this word. Not me, okay. but the Jews. Here, Jewish sources on the word as a divine person, finally. These are translations of the Old Testament and Aramaic by Jews. Jews wrote these, not Christians. Here's the Jewish translation of Genesis into Aramaic. Here they say, and they heard the voice of the Memra. The word Memra is the word for word in Aramaic. They're telling you that the God that appeared in the garden and the God that spoke to Abraham was the word. And they heard the voice of the Memra of the Lord God walking in the garden. So who was walking? The Memra. Memra is the Aramaic word for word. So they heard the voice of the word of the Lord God. So the Jews were not Christians saying that was the word of God. That was the Memra, the word he was appearing as God. How did they know that? And the Memra of the Lord called to Adam. The text says the Lord God called, but here it says it was the word. Now look at the memory of Israel's God and creator. Look here, Targum Neophyti, and Jacob vowed a vow saying, if the memra of Yahweh, meaning the word, because memra is the Aramaic term for word, if the word of Yahweh will be my support, then shall the memra of Yahweh be my God. So the Jews who are not Christians without the New Testament knew God's word is a person who is God, who is sent, whom the Israelites knew was their God. So you understand John 1 wasn't introducing anything new. If you were a Jew reading John 1, this is what you would say. In the beginning was the word, you'd say amen. Mm -hmm. The word was with God. Amen, John. Yeah. The word was God. Amen. And all things came through to being through him. You would amen it. You know where they would get shocked? There's oh. only one part of that chapter that they would have been shocked. Everything they would accept. You know which part that would have shocked them? Unsure. I, I'm not sure. The word became a man, became flesh. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes That's sense. where the, then they would say, hold on, John. We were following you, tracking along up to this point. Mm -hmm. We know from the Bible, God's word, he is divine, distinct from God, sent by God. He is our God and does things what God does. We're agreeing. It's in our Bible. Well, what do you mean the word became flesh, became human? He became a man? Yeah. Who? The one you nailed to the cross, Jesus of Nazareth. 